first tonight, eight years in jail for the Nottingham supermarket worker who was preparing to fight for an Islamist extremist group. Ryan Council has been sentenced this afternoon, a month after he was found guilty of four terrorism offences. Council was a Muslim convert. He downloaded a wealth of jihadi extremist material and he bought military equipment online. Well, that prompted a raid on his home near the Asda store where he worked in Hyson Green. They found he was due to fly out to the Philippines only two days later. Well, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has been following the case for us at uh, Woolwich Crown Court. Jeremy, what's been happening there this afternoon? Well, Judge Andrew Lee said he had no doubt that Ryan Council intended to join Abu Sayyaf. Now, that's a violent terrorist group that's pledged allegiance to the so-called Islamic State in which only this week beheaded a German hostage. And the judge said that he spent almost £900 on military equipment and even blast-proof underwear. He downloaded beheading videos and bomb-making guides and advice on how to pack and how to join the group without arousing suspicions. Was Ryan Council known at any local mosques? No, he wasn't, according to one imam, Dr Musharraf Hussain, who's uh, in charge of the Bobbers Mill Mosque. He told me that uh, this case too highlights the dangers of Muslim converts trying to learn about their religion online. I think anybody who wants to do any criminal activity and commit violence and, and join any terrorist groups, uh, you know, it's shocking and we would condemn it and I would not regard him as part of the Muslim community or our city in fact he's a criminal and you know we, rather than virtual teachers we need real teachers and any reaction Jeremy to that eight-year prison sentence no Ryan Council didn't show any emotion at all as he was taken down his mother though was watching the public gallery she was very upset and we did hear uh, some mitigation as well from Council's barrister who said that he chose to leave Nottingham soon after the Brexit vote because he was worried about a backlash against the Muslim community and he also said that if Council had cold called Abu Sayyaf as he put it then the chances are that instead of recruiting him they would have taken him hostage and held him for ransom. Thank you.